particularly fond of it. Nice. All right, good. Yep. Perfect. Breathe out. I'm going to come on the inside of you right here. So your arms are a little high. I want your arms shoulder. There, good. So it's down dog. Now push your butt back as far as you can go. Breathe. Bring your ears between your arms. Right? And push your butt back. Now bend the knees. Still maintaining that alignment though. Keep your ears between your biceps. Don't drop too far. Breathe. Now straighten the leg. Come down. One, one thousand. Two. Straighten. Breathe. And come down. Breathe. Stretch. Every time you stretch, get it deeper into your pecs, not your neck. One more. And straighten. Nice. Now bring your hands down just a little. Take your right hand and bring it to your left knee, your left ankle, the left floor, whatever you have to, and rotate and look up under your arm. Bend your knees or straighten the knees. Whatever you need. Breathe. And then switch to the other side. Get your arms straight, mommy. Good. Opposite. This is this side's way tighter for me. I have to go a little higher. You can bend the knees if you want. You can play. Nice. Breathe. And then two more. Each one. And then two. And you can stay long. But make sure you get some short ones too. And rotate too. Don't be afraid. Your hips are good. Toes are forward. Knees are forward. Breathe out on the stretch. Nice. Good. And don't forget, come up. When you're done, you're going to come up and you're going to do a puppy. That's hard. Nice. Good. Beautiful. Arms together. Get your arms nice. Good. Perfect. Breathe. And don't be afraid. Bend the knees. And straighten. We feel that too. Okay. And bend. And straighten. Gorgeous. Whoa, good stretch. Nice. Breathe. Perfect. So just turn around this way. Remember your tricep stretch? Yeah. We'll do that one however you want. What one? Good. Perfect. So this hand is on. This hand is mm -hmm. on your shoulder, right? We want that part of the tricep head. Perfect. It's one, one thousand, two. Come down. Switch to the other side. Breathe. Lift, lengthen the line, don't forget. Nice, release that back muscle. Again, breathe. One, no shoulders. Two. Yep, good. Where's your hand? Make sure. What happens is we migrate. It just happens, okay? Yep, good. Perfect, nice, Mom. Impressive. She's just as determined to get. Mm -hmm. Isn't she work right here? Yeah, right there. She yeah. Is yeah. Cool. It'd be good for her. Karen, you if you start K B. Because we all worked, we had multiple Karen's. She was K B. Yep. Yeah. Okay, ready? So switch here. We're gonna do donkey kick against the wall, remember, right? So get arm distance apart. Breathe here. Uh, toes forward, make sure. Be careful of your alignment of your hips and your toes. Nice. Now come up and get this knee where your hips are level and you have to figure that out. Right? And you can bring your knee right up to the wall. Right up. Nice. The hand right up. Good. Perfect. And go down. I feel it's all over. Yeah. And then do the other side. Come up. I mean, like. And try it without abs. the wall. Just whatever. Find spots. Yeah, no, you'll feel it. It's a I good feel one. Abs and back. That's yeah. good. Perfect. Now, back. see how I'm leaning a little forward? If I fully extend my standing leg and bring my body weight back, that's where I would like you. Get your knees straighter. Bring your body weight back a little bit more. Get rid of your arms. See, your oh. arms are bent. They need to be straight. You don't want to deal I'm with that. All that's all right. It can come off a little. Yeah. Keep your head back. Gorge. Come down. Right? So you're just going to get this one. Two. Ooh, fell. Alright. Face. Perfect. Am I doing the right one? Yep. That's good. Perfect. Good? That's good. Just for the fun of it, because we're doing this, come up like this. You come up with this name, right? And go in and down. Come open, open, and down. Walk in a little bit and just do it. Come up, tap the middle, tap the left. Tap the right and down. 
just a good way to get your hip flexes to know what they're supposed to be doing right here. Nice. Knee tap. Silly, can you feel it or no? Yeah, I feel it. I just, I'm trying to focus on getting everything. Don't move no matter the what, other hip. Come, Listen I'm, to me. I you want to incorporate the other side. Yeah. Don't. I'm just trying to keep it wide. Yeah. I want you to just go like this yeah. and go like this and just move this Man, leg without nice that one moving. Tips. There. Good. Nice. nice. Good. Perfect. That's better. This is so good for my hips. Yeah, th it's a good hip Ooh. correction. But don't let that upper body do too much either. So it's here, here. Here, I mean, I'm gonna do that kind of stuff, but so you want to just see where can you bring your leg without now? See, I just shifted and I don't want to shift, I just want to come out. I went like that, I don't want to, I want to just be able to come out and come in, come back. Nice, it's a good way to isolate all the hip flexors, hip extensors. Nice, perfect. Yep. So now take. One good step back, Crazy. and you're gonna come up high knee and come out with your legs straight. We're gonna have to do something on this wall. Because yeah. we use it I so much. Like, well, see our fingerprints? It's yeah. all of us. It's funny, yeah. you don't even know how dirty we are though. Right. Yeah. But this wall is gonna be black here, yeah. right? Nice, go down. Then come up, come out. Now make sure when you come out, you're not crossing this foot, it's straight. Yeah, you'll find. So now you just found that muscle. So bring it up. Now this one you're allowed to bend and then straighten. Mm -hmm. Use your hands if you have to. So really we're just using a corrective exercise to identify your problem and then fix it too. Get that heel flat. Mm -hmm. that, so you're that I'm tight. So then you're going to have to go lower and lower. And that's right up in that PCL, right behind Lower's that knee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> bend. Bend the knee. Don't be not the standing leg. This one. Bend your whole body in. Don't be afraid. Go all the way in. Nice. And then come all the way out. There. And you I just want your goal to be at the end of this week to have your foot up here and be able to have the heel flat. So that you can just literally come up like this. Yeah. I mean. Right? <laughs> but that's a force. Yeah, exactly. So come up like this, hold it. Come up flat, hold, and then come out. See the difference? Mm -hmm. So that's what I want you to be able to do. And look, I come in with my heel. Yeah. I lead with my heel. Yeah. You good? I'm just naturally forced. You you go like this. Yep. So you kind of force it. Yeah. And that, it's a very subtle difference. Yeah. And that's the problem because you're strong enough. That I can just. You can get fake it. Yeah. You can get yourself. But what we want is you to smoothly move into yeah. it. Be and graceful. then you'll be a happier person. Oh, yeah. So then a good way to learn the back kick now, Con, is come from that and come back and just go right back. Right, we don't even have to kick the wall. Mm -hmm. So then you, here, come here. Come like this. When you come back, don't just drop it. Bring your hands and come out and do a donkey kick. Now, if your forearms get on the ground, I just want your hips level, your back foot flexed. Nice. Keep it. And try to move back more. Move back. Your arms straight. Move your whole body weight back. You see that difference? All right. Get these arms straight. If I'm not like bent, I'm just gonna have no balance. All right. Well, then you need to fix this. So go like this. Get these arms straight. Get this foot straight. Perfect. All right. You get this leg straight. Now bend this knee just a little. And let your hips come in. Belly right to this quad. Back leg is straight, heel is flat. You're not allowed to bend your elbows. Not like this, anyway. It's this. Yeah. Really, it's... Look at me. Look at my arms. Separate your upper and... are you and keeping it there, though? I'm just sliding around. Because you're not really there. That's why, yeah. so you, I, that's why I'm here recording me, so you can see what I do. Yeah. Watch. I was just doing this, so I have to correct. Nice. Good. Now go straight. Get your arms straight. Good. Now bring this leg and come back and just make sure your arms stay straight. It's very hard because your body wants to fall. Mm. You want to bend the knee, but I don't want it. It's warrior three, what we're trying to do. Donkey kick. Gorgeous. Nice. You do that on both sides without me coaching you. How are you doing with it? Good. Good. Breathe. Good. Nice. Straight. 
Straighten those arms. Good. Perfect. I always get to look up and remember that down. It just feels great on my back. Yes. It's a good, nice, go right back all the way. Straighten these arms a little more. Gorge. Yep. That's what you need to do. You just self, self fix, but that's okay. Perfect. Look ahead, not down. Good. Breathe. Perfect. Now just stop. That's a lot. Nice. You should feel kind of good though. That should be a good thing for you for the day. Yeah. So he goes, when Colin lifts up, his whole shirt lifts. You always make it there, much better. That's what, that's a good thing. But you, do you see this? Yeah, no. I know. You gotta so figure this out for me. Just whatever it is, get it out of here. It has nothing to do with this. When you lift, it's all about rotation of your arm in the socket. Better, like better. better. Right. Nice. That was a lot better. I liked that. You went, you wanted, but then you got it. Yeah. All right. Good. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So here, let's do some lateral stuff. Go wide. And actually, if we're really doing a yoga class, we're gonna pop open. So this foot for me is my right foot. It's probably you guys' left foot. Or are you gonna go on your right? We do whatever you want, right? You so you're gonna bend. I have to go the way you do. Yeah, you can. But I'm gonna go back and you yep. get screwed up. All right, so this is warrior two. Now, the th when you're doing it, go sideways in the mirror. Because I want you to notice what your front knee does. Does it go like this? Let me come in with you. See this? Yes. It can't do that, there. It might not like it. You gotta go easy with it. Uh, yes. I'm not hurt, but that's where you gotta. Do you see this? Yep. Yeah. It's a very small. I was watching a lady. She does. Um, she's called Yoga for Pros, and she goes and she does privates with these big, huge football players and yeah. like all the professionals. And they're doing their warriors, and the football guy's knees are like this. And I just want to be like, fix his knees. Yeah. We're not always going to fix those. That's It's going to happen in a transition that your knee does that. So yeah. we do have to be able to work Correct. with it. Yes, but you, that's what you do, you're doing. So that your body knows if you go to cut and your knee's in this position, no, you're going to go back here. Yeah. And that's what we want to try. So just very, right? Good. You got those? So worry two. Right? We're going to something called right angle. Nice. All right. Watch your knee, it wants to come in, don't let it, push it open. So take your arm, the same arm that's on the bent knee, and bring it down on the inside of the knee, and push that knee open even more. <laughs> yeah, now if that's hard, you don't have to. I don't want I you to fall. Like, you know Good, now when you come back up, straighten that front leg, reach behind you, breathe. Now let this hip come to me, forward. Good. Mm. Yep, beautiful. Straighten that arm, reach behind you, Ian, like you're gonna strike the wall, Ian. <laughs> call him like you're gonna strike the wall. Good, and then come up. Now this way, go and reach as far forward as you can, and bring your hand all the way to the ground if you can. The back groin is what I'm getting to, let that hip collapse. Nice, good, come back up, reach, breathe. Gorgeous, get two more. If you wanna be super duper strong, come forward, come up to a half moon, come down and push away. And having a block sometimes will help. So here, here, you can even use two hands just to get used to that transition and just find that balance. Look ahead, not down. Always just like five inches in front of you and come back, nice. Good. Whoa. Feel that a little different, but it's good. Nice. Um, yep, I'm right. going forwards. Like this, yeah. and I shoot my hip back like that. No. Okay. Because that's the only way I'm I'm watching when you do that. It's a little different. I'd like you to keep it here because I really want you to feel it in this groin and this groin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah. Now I'm getting it. Yeah. You want to watch you do that. Yeah. It's all right. It's you're, it's okay, though. It's but really what I'm just trying to do is to get all your quad muscles to work the way they're supposed to yeah. so that that hamstring isn't doing all the work. Yeah. Nice. Is that back toe on the ground? It is, yeah. good. So come center, just rotate your feet forward and come down and breathe. Bring your hands literally right under your shoulders, look ahead. All right, can you do it? If you can't, bend your knees. It's all right, breathe, okay. Now I want you to just try to lower to your forearms. Look up at your belly button 
and then come up. Nice. Surprisingly, way closer. Yeah, yeah, you're getting there. It's working. Mm -hmm. Nice. It takes time. Breathe, pull around to the ground. Look ahead. Breathe out and out. Oh, good. And go the other way. I almost did that. Yeah, you're getting there. Nice. Yep, now we're going to do the other five. Yep. Good. Yep, you just fixed it. Don't let the heel of the front foot come off the ground. Keep it flat. There, make sure that your knee stays behind that front toe when you're going down. Okay. Just look at it, make sure. Make sure it's open and behind. Make sure you can see your big toe if you look on the inside of that knee. Great, breathe, so go one, 1,002. Come back and do a reverse. I call this reverse pyramid. Oh, nice. Or reverse triangle, that should feel really good. And then come up and extend, which is just take the same elbow to the knee and bend. Don't let your hip break up. Keep it, it goes with your whole body. As the front knee bends, the hip drops. Nice. And then come up and breathe. Good. You're doing deep muscle stuff. Yeah. Look up a little bit when you do this. Straighten your arm. Rotate this palm just like this, just for a minute. There, and then... See that? Just a little different. Nice. That's a pretty pose right there. Straighten that back leg. More. Nice. Yep. Good. Go to where it hurts a little and then pull out. Then come up. And as you come up, bend and go right to the ground if you can. Bend that knee as much as you have to. If you feel stress in your shoulders or your neck, you don't have to raise the upper arm. You can look up, you can look down, or you can just look ahead. Perfect. Good. And then come up. And then stretch and reach and breathe. Palm nice. Next one we're gonna to go to half moon. After just a week, I'll be doing that. Yeah. Very quickly your body adapts. Next one, come down, bring one hand or both hands to the ground. Shift your body weight fully, lift that back leg. And then you can open. You don't have to have both ground the hands to the ground. Rotate and look at my mom. There. Yep, it's gonna mess with you. But that's okay. You can bring both hands to the ground. Can't do this side. Beautiful. Okay. Breathe. Now just bring that foot in line with the other foot so you're in a forward bend. And then roll up and breathe. Nice. Good. You like that? Do you want to do that one? You like that forearm drop? Yeah. That's that a good one. Good, yeah. Well, let's try to. Um, Let's go towards the swall. We'll do the forearm drop, and then we'll try to see if we can't do like a pincha up into a handstand, which I know is gonna freak you out a little bit. But, so you go like this, right up against the swall, right here, and you literally get your forearm down, bend the knees, okay? Just bend your knees, don't be afraid. Jump in, do them behind you, bend your knees. All right, now a pincha is you go up into a handstand on the forearms. And you just hold and look up. Nice. Squeeze your ab. Nice. Nice. Yeah, perfect. Now squeeze a ball between your legs. Squeeze a ball between, literally squeeze it. There, that's where I want your pelvis. See the difference? Yeah. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Take one foot away from the wall, just one. Feel it, hold it, don't drop <laughs> it. <laughs> but that's how you get. So now we'll just go a little further away, and you can be like this or this, and then you come up and kick up, right? And then what you do is you take one away, and then just try to take the other and feel, and it's all the abs. We all squeeze our shoulders, and that's not where nice. Squeeze a ball. Perfect, perfect. Don't drop, don't drop. Nice. Squeeze the ball. Hold, 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 hold. Perfect. Yep. Squeeze a ball and try to do both. Because if you fall, you're just going to fall down towards me. Squeeze. Try to lift. Bend your knees a little if you want need to. That might help too. Squeeze the ball, knee bent. Ugh. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. That Doing will help both. strengthen you. Yeah. That's a cool one, right? Yeah. And then, yeah, we're going to go this way and we're going to do this. We'll do that. And you can just do it against it too. We're going to do a back bend on there. I want your heels up against the wall. Just to get used to that. It kind of makes you stabilize the hip, yeah. push the hip forward, breathe. This will help you a lot. You don't have it. You, it's the glute yeah. ankle correction. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's, zero. yeah, that's all right though. We can fix you. I can't even so sit right now you're anymore. like this. So look at me. What I want you to care more about is getting the heel flat, as aggravating as that is. It is. Yep. Got it. Yep. And then push the hip forward as you push the heel to the ground, to the wall behind you. So here, go. You're gonna do that because this is you're gonna practice it. Oh my god. Right. So you're gonna push the heel as you push the hip. So push it, it's an opposite movement. You just, you'll get it, it's push, nice. And then try to get the heel back too. You're gonna fire this part of your hamstring. Yeah, I'm trying. You'll get it. We'll I'm literally it. slamming my yeah. heels back. <laughs> Bring your toes a little more forward. Get the toes off the wall a little. Now push the heel back. That might help you. Even a little more forward, like this. Yeah, so like you're like this. Yeah. My feet are sweating. Yeah, All right, hands. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah, it could be a quads. Yeah. It could be. It depends on different people. I feel like for me, it's my hammy. For you, it might not be. But the more you push forward, the harder it is to push back. Uh. Yeah, don't hook your neck. Just notice that. Yeah. You, you like this. Yeah, I do. It's I not bad. You see, the problem is, is you have really good, you have good posture. Yeah. So those kind of things can get very easily overlooked. Because a lot of the time, you're not going to really see this on somebody who has good posture, but watch the difference. Yeah. Do, it's just this tension versus that. It's very subtle. And that's what you have. I can't get my hands. You will. It's not going to happen today. Yeah. It's, just, it's not. It's just not like it's this straight up. Well, and that's part of the problem with the leg up on the wall. Yeah. So if you watch this, it's it's on I'm YouTube. gonna put this on YouTube. You watch this and you listen to it. Yeah. Um, and I'll probably send you a link because I don't know if I'll put this lot. I don't know if I'll put it up. It's not with the. We'll see how we look. If it's good, we'll put it. Because I'm not really coaching to anybody but you. Yeah. But that will help you a lot. You all right? You good? Yeah. So you want to do something really high? <laughs> you go like this, because we want to build upper body strength too, and we did pincher towards the wall. So now let's do pincher away from the wall, but we're not going to do anything other than we're going to go like this, and we're just going to go like this. Oh yeah. Okay? And play with that. And just get used to doing pincher without a wall behind you. Now you know how we bent and straightened the leg in Gloria? You can do the same thing here, Ian. Just bend and straighten. And you can bend both feet, straighten both, and keep both legs on the wall. You can come up with one. Flex the foot when you bring it up so it matches the foot on the wall. You can bend that knee. You can pretend you're touching your head with the leg in the air. And then come back down whenever you're ready. I'm gonna let you record that. What I would like you to do is walk your body a little closer. And so go back, do those elbows a little more, and don't let your elbows splay so much. Yeah. Like that, yeah. what that is, is strength. Mm -hmm. This is the balance and the core. So you're forcing your body to stabilize, but really I want your body to kind of be in its center. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna be a little closer there. Got it. Good, mm -hmm. nice, yeah. Feel it? Yeah. Good. Straighter up, even with that leg, even more flat. I'm actually getting my butt pulled. This is you need to do these. These are your little different things for you. Gorgeous. Yeah, that one's working my shoulders. Yep, there. good. That's how we'll get you all your little fixes. Yeah. Nice, and come back up and just do a back bend after that, and then you're good. And we're probably pretty good close to time, I think. I hope. Trisha, we're um, close anyway. We did a lot. The good thing. Um, is even in child pose, I'm starting to get my butt closer to yeah, the ground. Yeah, your knees are getting better. Yeah. I'm finally getting pretty close too. Yeah. So how you one. come out of this is come on your tippy, and you're supposed to pop. I can't pop, but yeah. if you can roll and pop up, one, two, three, pop. Yes, gorgeous. I can't. Yeah. I can with my hands, yeah. but I can't without my hands. Can you? I can't pop. I used to yeah. be able to, but after I broke my hip, what am I not doing? Is it that throw? Because uh, I can go. Well, I'm, push, I'm probably doing it wrong. I'm pushing off the tops of my feet. No, that's okay. It's yeah. all right. Maybe is that what I'm not doing? Maybe it's because my ankle is weird? Because I have a weird broken ankle yeah. thing, too. Maybe because of how loose you are? Because, like, my, all I have to do yeah, is go. Like, you have that elastic spring, yeah. ready to go. Yeah. yeah. Where, yes. because you're so tight, um, yeah. DJ McDonald was like that. Yep. He was yeah. just bring, bring, bring. Yeah. God, have you seen that's DJ? Right. 
Huh? Have you seen him? 